guys, welcome back to Mystical Mermaid. This is a pick a card reading on what's taking off for you. What's about to take off? What's about to move forward for you? What's about to launch for you, all right? So I want you guys to choose some three different options, all right? So we're gonna start off with this Lapis Lazuli Crystal for Pal One. I love this. This was my first piece of Lapis Lazuli. It was given to me for free, I believe on my 22nd birthday or 23rd birthday. It's very important to me. It makes me think of my mom. It makes me think of ancient Egypt. So that one's important to me. We have this one, which is also quite important to me because I love the shape of it. It's so unique. This is clear quartz, I believe. So this is two. The third option is this smoky quartz, which is gorgeous. Look at that. It's another important one. Okay, so one lapis azuli two clear quartz and three <laughs> the smoky quartz okay so we're gonna start lapis lazuli so if you chose a lapis azuli which i connect to ancient egypt and it has this gold in it which i found out is pyrite um i just love this stone so much you guys this is my favorite piece this is so regal it's so royal so what's taken out off for you whoa i just heard taken out so something's being taken out so you could take off maybe it has to do with love holy spirit come through cleanse my energy please cleanse my energy archangel michael please come through and protect me help me to channel the most positive uplifting messages from the highest 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 most holy love and light holy spirit use me as a divine channel to give messages to all who need them all right let's get into this holy spirit that got real it's funny because whew, i just feel like a weight just lifted some of you guys needed to know that they're telling me to grab my florida water okay what's going on here i'm hearing archangels it's funny because I was going to do an Archangel reading and they're furthermore, they're telling me that when I'm done with this, I need to do an Archangel reading. Maybe you guys are connected to Archangels. Pressure in the crown chakra, pressure in the neck, shoulders, release it, tension, tension. You guys need to release that. I just felt something like get real stiff. Like I think it's stress. I think it's worry. It could be fear. Ten of swords. Archangels. You guys need to work with Archangels. So if I do an Archangel reading, you guys need to watch it because it's coming through. It's like they're saying you guys need to know that. So something taken off within Archangels. Maybe you guys are going to be connecting with Archangels. Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, what's going on for Pal 1? What's taken off for them? What's taken off for Pal 1? Can you give me some clues on this? Can you give me some ideas? Hangman. So maybe you guys are in a hangman position. What's taking off for them? It's funny. We're asking what's taking off and they're saying hangman. Hey, Eight of Cups. Walking away from something. You're walking away from this hangman position because look, he's asleep and she's walking away. There's a full moon. Something hidden. You might be walking away from someone who made you feel stuck, someone who made you feel trapped or something who made you feel stuck or trapped. Doesn't mean that it was bad. It doesn't mean that it was, um, yeah, I'm hearing it wasn't bad. They're just saying that it wasn't enough. That's what I'm hearing. It wasn't enough. It wasn't fulfilling. It's like <laughs> they're telling me like when you go to a restaurant and you have a dish and it's like, it, it's good. It's it's not bad. It's good. It's, it, you know, it could use a little bit more like flavor, you know, it could use a little something. They're saying that. It's funny because I just left a restaurant and that's what they're telling me. So it's like almost like it was it was cool but it wasn't enough so maybe some of you guys have been in this hangman position or you've been stuck with in something whether it's a job or career something with school or partner or just in, like a um a energy like some people really get stuck in different energies you guys are leaving from that and what's funny is you have the will of fortune which, which is this wheel so the wheel is actually turning this is divine intervention you go from the hangman to the eight of cups to the will of fortune so some of you guys are getting out of this. No, not some. They're saying all. All of you guys who are watching this, you're getting out of some type of stuck position and you're moving forward. And this is all destined. This is like this divine change that's happening. This will is finally turning. It was stuck. And now it's finally turning. 
and things are about to shift in your favor. But in what area of your life? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Page of Swords, some type of knowledge that's coming in is what they're saying. Finally, you gained the clarity and insight that you needed, and now you're about to move forward. Four of Wands. This could have to do with a home, some type of structure. It could have to do with a relationship. For some of you guys, maybe someone wasn't willing to commit or go do something long term and you're moving on to someone who is ready to have something that's more stable and long term. That's for some of you. Stability. You're moving towards stability is what they're saying. Stability. Stability. That's what's taking off for you. Stability. Some of you are union, but stability. I want clarity. I want something more specific, Holy Spirit. Can you give me something more specific for this, pal? You guys are definitely working with archangels. They keep saying they're working with archangels. They need to know that. Archangels want to work with you. They want to work with you. I told another pal this in um, one of the other readings that they should read um, Kyle Gray's Angel's Prayer, Angel Prayers. It's a green book. Great, great, simple. It's simple, but it's... It's beautiful. It's everything you need to know. It's easy to read. So for some of you who don't like to read, it's an easy read. Pick it up. Amazon it. Get the book. It's worth it. Especially if you want to know more about Archangels. Archangels, they're taking over your reading, literally. Like, I'm probably going to end up pulling some Archangel cards for you guys. So what's taking off for you guys? Success. Action. The Chariot. You guys go from the hangman to the Chariot. You receive some type of insight, page of source, some type of knowledge, some type of wisdom, clarity, and you take off. And when you take off, you're hitting success. It's like they're showing me like, get ready, set, go. It's almost like, oh, we're about to start the race, the Olympics, right? We're about to start this race. It's about to start, take off, success. And it's all happening because this will of fortune stepped in. So the divine stepped in and said, hey, you're destined to be doing this. Okay, this is a part of your life path. This is your life purpose. Now, my reminder, this is a reminder. We all have free will. We can choose what, what path we take. We can choose how we want to live our life. But there is a bit of divine intervention that happens in, in our lives. Okay, some things are fated. Some, some things are destined. Okay, so this energy is like... The, it's divine timing. They're saying that you gain the knowledge and clarity and insight on something like that. And divine timing. And it's like you had all this time and you said, well, why didn't it come at this? Oh, I forget that I'm wearing makeup sometimes. <laughs> it's like, why didn't this come in at this time when I felt da -da 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 -da, I could have used it? And it's like, now it's coming. Well, it wasn't the right timing for you to learn this or to have that. Okay. <sighs> Don't you hate when hair gets stuck on your makeup? I feel like there's like something here. Sorry if you guys see me looking cross-eyed <laughs> in my lip. You know how you feel that piece of hair kind of there? No more distractions, literally. Queen of Wands. Confidence and warmth. You're taking off. This could be a project, some type of idea. That's Yep, that's going to bring you some type of wealth. This is a project. They're saying this is creative. It's creative. It's creative. They're saying creativity. Wisdom. Wisdom. Wealth. Success. The Ace of Pentacles next to the Chariot. The hell? With the Wheel of Fortune? This wheel. You guys are about to take off. Inner torture. The only thing that will stop this from taking off is you. But even you can't get away. That's what they're saying. It doesn't matter. They're saying it's still going to take off for you. But they're saying you're going to make the process harder than what it has to be. Damn. Inner torture addiction, nine of swords, let go of what doesn't serve you. But they're saying that these sleepless nights is you overthinking about things, worry. You guys have to learn how to replace fear with faith. Replace fear with faith. That's what they're saying because the angels are helping you. Play the child. You got another page here. Two pages. For some of you, this could be with children. Maybe you guys work with children or some of you guys are wanting to work with children. That's for some of you. You have to remind, um, remind yourself how worthy you are. That's what they're saying. Remind yourself that you're ready. You're ready. Don't doubt yourself. Whatever this is, don't doubt yourself. You're ready. I'm hearing jitters. Cold feet. You're ready. You're ready. Sometimes we get in our own way. There's a dream job we want. We finally get close to it or we finally get it and we start thinking about all the other reasons. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I should. I don't know. You know. Oh, I don't know. You get a, you get a chance to do something you want to do and you start getting scared. 
They're saying, stop, don't get in your way. Do not, we open this door for you. Do not get in the way. Did I say the Olympics? Something with a sport competition, the Olympics, gymnastics, skating, something like that could be relevant to someone. But it's like that. You're in these games like this. Why do they say Hunger Games? No, but that Queen of Wands makes you think of the Hunger Games. But it's like you're in it to win it. That's what they're saying. You're in it to win it. You have two pages, two children here. What's at the bottom? Judgment card, breakthrough, insight. Didn't I say that? Some type of knowledge and wisdom that's coming through. It's a rebirth. It's a renewal. It's a, it's a big call. This is Archangel Gabriel. Remember I said that? Archangels. Archangel Gabriel is coming in, blowing the trumpet and saying, hey, get up. It's time. It's time. They're showing me a clock. Where is it? Which country is it? Is it the UK that has that clock that goes off at a certain time? There's something about a clock. You're going to be right on time. It had to turn a certain way. Things had to line up a certain way. It had to be perfect. That's why the divine had you waiting for so long. You have to have patience. Your timing isn't the same as God's timing, the divine's timing. Divine timing is God's timing. And soon you'll realize, you'll see, that's why this didn't work that way. That's why when I wanted this to take off, it didn't work that way. That's why, because had I taken that job, I would have missed out on this one. And what's crazy is at that time, I wouldn't have even been ready for that job mentally. But now I am mentally prepared. I just have the jitters. I'm getting that. Stay committed to yourself. Talent. Know your worth. You guys need to know you're ready. You're ready. It's all about patience. What's about to take off for you is, is going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of money. But now I'm ready to know what's up. Does this have to do with your life purpose? What is this? I want, I want clues. I want you guys to remember that now there's a bigger audience that's watching my channel. I could end up picking up a lot of different um, energies. So bear with me. We're going to see what, what comes through for you guys. Well-being. Friendships. The page of wands. You got two pages. Page of swords, page of wands. Well-being. Taking care of your health. You guys need to get more rest. We have a hangman. This eight of cups, he's asleep. The nine of swords, he's up at night. Get more rest. It's all about balance. It's all about moderation. Some of you guys are workaholics. You're, you're trying hard to get something to move, but you feel stuck. It's like, why do I feel stuck when I want this to move forward? It's impatience. It's Aries energy, kind of. It's like, it, it's, I'm impatient. Get it done now. I feel like I'm wasting time. That's what I'm hearing. I'm wasting time. When is this going to take off for me? Like, when? Because I need it to happen now. You guys could be worried about money. And it's like, come on. I need this to happen for me now. I need this to take off. It could be something about your age. For some of you guys, maybe you're worried because of your age. Maybe you want it to get somewhere. Maybe you feel like something's running out of time with your age. Or maybe you just felt like you should have been in a certain position at a certain age or at a certain time frame. And they're saying that that's cool that you have a time frame for your life. It's cool that you you know you're planned and you're mapped out like that. But ultimately, it's the, the it's God's time. It's the divine's timing. New beginning. What's taken off for your new beginning? We know that because you're getting out of the same man. You're walking away from something. What's happening? You're healing. Mm, healing's taking off mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Answers are coming through. Yep, clarity that. Page of Swords, the Breakthrough, the Judgment card. What's coming towards your way, what's taking off is you're receiving answers on how to move forward. They paved a new path for you. That's what they just said. It's like it, they saw something so far hit. I'm hearing years of hit. There's something you would have done. They're saying there's something you would have done or, or an opportunity that you would have taken, either with a person or a career or just emotion. There's something that you would have done. That they're saying it would have took you off your course. They're showing me a path. And it's almost like they could see. And it could even be like five years from now is what they're saying. It's like if you had taken this route five years from now, you would have found yourself in another stuck position. And they're trying to push you further. So it's almost like 
they're rerouting you. It's almost like when you have um, Waze or a map and it says, you know, when you're in traffic and it says, would you rather take a shorter route, you know, three minutes away reroute. And you're like, you already have the map up, but it's like it's trying to reroute you. And you can like press okay and it'll take you another direction. It's kind of like that's what they're doing for you. And that's why you've been in this waiting position. And I always tell people my new way of seeing the hangman is more of someone sitting at an airport. Because when a waiting area in the airport doesn't mean that you're stuck forever. It's you're either waiting to take take flight or you're coming off the flight and you're just waiting to leave. So there's this waiting period, it still has movement behind it, okay? So that's the way I see the hangman. I, I know this sounds strange, but I see it as, okay, my flight might be delayed or I'm just waiting for the flight, you know, to, for us to board the flight, it's that energy. Transformation, speaking of, uh, speaking of flight, um, Transformation is like you're ready to take flight, take off, healing. So this transformation has to do with healing. You're entering this new beginning. But what's taking off for you is that you're going to be receiving a lot of answers from archangels, specifically archangels. And there's going to be a lot of blessings on your way, on your path. And the reason why these blessings are coming is because you waited. You waited. I'm hearing that you might feel like the angels touch you. They're saying something about touch. When they give me sensations, I pay attention. I always pay attention. With, with sensations. They're saying something about your legs, your feet. I don't know why they're saying that legs, feet, something with that. Movement. Legs and feet mean movement. They literally had me bring my legs up. So it's something about movement. Something is like literally take the first step. Something with movement. Like I got ch um, chills and tingles. A weird sensation up my legs. Okay, that's strange. life purpose answers clarity judgment can you give me some more clarity on this we want to know we want to know what's up archangels can you come through and tell us what what's about to take off please 2 a.m 2 a.m why is it significant for you guys it's 2 a.m right here but they told me to tell you 2 a.m blossoming abundance look at that blessings blossoming abundance wealth success three 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Midnight? Are you guys waking up in the middle of the night? Yeah. Nine of Swords. Downloads, ascensions in the middle of the night. What's going on? No, 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 no. But look, we got three and four. Look at that. How weird is that? The garden and the gate. Archangel Metatron, but they're telling me no. No. He had action underneath that. Remember, it's talking about legs. Three women there at the, on the community card. Friends. Something with friends taking off. Okay, some things are going to need to be... Um, released in, in order to have a new beginning. So this is like your friendship group could be changing. There's something taking off for you. They're showing me flights. They purposely wanted me to tell you that that's the way I see the hangman. So there's something with flights. I'm taking flight. Something is going high for you. You're spreading your wings. You're taking off. Oh, in my angel deck, we have a card that says, um, oh, is it something about spread your wings? Let's see if that comes out. Let's see. We're going to use that deck. What do you guys need to know? Let's take a deceit and a torture addiction. Be aware. Didn't I just say something about there might be a friendship group that you might need to release? There's something you're going to need to release in order to get to here. Six, seven, there's something spiritual. You might receive answers about the people around you. New beginnings leading you to your life purpose. It's like um, this path is a unique path for you is what they're saying. It's unique. It's yours. No one can go with you. Whoa, no one can go with you on this healing path. You're going to have to heal yourself. Your own judgment, your own discernment, that's what they're saying. So what's taking off is that you're, you're. I just hate seeing the same shit over and over. I'm going to be real with you guys. I want to be blunt with you guys. I don't like, take your power back because everybody says that shit. Oh, you're going to heal. We always say this shit. You're transforming. We say that shit. You're ascending. I want to explain to you. I want to get down to the nitty gritty. I want to be real with you guys. What's happening? Let's be blunt. What's happening? What's taking off for you is that you're going to be seeing people for who they fucking are. Excuse my French. It's you might receive like knowledge about a friend or a family member quite soon. And it could be a dream. They're giving you a heads up about someone that needs to go. Someone that you need to walk away from with the eight of cups. 
that's one thing. I know we're looking at what's taking off for you, but what's taking off for you is that you're going to have discernment. You're going to have insight. Baby girl, you okay? All right. Checking on Lucy. Sorry, guys. That's my dog. I have three dogs, but Lucy just did something weird. Okay. Um, and I know you're like, can she answer you? But no, she looked up at me, so we're good. But um, they just told me to do that again. Maybe that's significant. Is that does that have to do with Hawaii? Aloha, make flight trip, Hawaii. Okay. Um, but anyways, there's something that they're gonna show you about someone. That's one thing. You could be going on vacation. Cliche. It could happen. Someone might be going on vacation. It's. I want something more. Um, I can't. I can't come into these readings and say what I want to happen. So I'm just gonna. We have to take what's given to us in these readings. We have to be blunt. I, I pride myself on being honest with you guys. So this here is you guys receiving answers about people around you, about situations, about your life purpose. What's taking off for you is that you will be taking flight. So what this means is you will be moving forward, propelled forward in a big way. Because think about it. I have the sensations in my legs and my feet, but they keep saying take flight flight so it's like you're running we have the skater race page of wands gymnastics what do they do they have to kind of step back in order to propel themselves the tongue tight to propel themselves fast skaters they they go low right and then they slowly move forward because it helps them to take off it helps them to gain more speed it also helps them to slow down it's using your body to maneuver how can how fast can i go how can i slow down you're maneuvering through traffic. It's like I'm, 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 I'm shifting. I'm, I'm weaving and, and bobbing and weaving. They're showing me a box now. Now they're showing me Muhammad, like Muhammad Ali, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I was the greatest before I was the greatest. I said I was the greatest before I was the greatest. Something like that. His type of confidence. His type of confidence is what's needed. He was confident before he could show people. He knew he was going to be great. And he made it happen. He backed himself on it. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe before it, it. you have evidence of it. You just have to believe and go forward. So this is bigger than, a, oh, I'm walking and, oh, I'm going to take this step to this. This is more like I'm going to, they're showing me, um, is it skiing? What is it? Is it skiing where they do this? And when they do that, it helps them to kind of fly. What is that where they do that and they fly? They literally do that. <laughs> you guys are looking at me like, what the fuck is she doing? But that's what they're showing me, okay? So you guys need to fly, literally. It's time to move forward. When this happens, this wheel is going to turn, and it's not like, oh, the door opens. So let me walk through it. <laughs> Bart Simpson, Homer Simpson. <laughs> no, this is more like door opens, speed racer. <laughs> Power Rangers, Michael Jackson, Speed Demon, go through, run, take off, take flight, ready, set, go. Like waiting, hey man, I'm wait, just just a waiting. They're gonna tell you. They're gonna tell you. Be aware. You're gonna know this shit. That's what they're saying. They're so blunt with you. And it's funny because we have the archangels here and people are like, she's cursing you. She's talking about archangels. Hell yeah, the archangels. Listen, people have their panties in a bunch when it comes to cursing and, and being spiritual or religious. I'm not religious. I'm very spiritual. I believe in God. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in Jesus Christ, but I still curse. <laughs> I'm still, still Taylor. I, I'm still authentic. That's still me. I'm still going to say what I want to say. And if you have a problem with it, you can leave my channel. But it's about speaking your truth. That's why they're saying that. I feel like this has to do with you. But the fact that I'm talking about this, speak your truth. Say it. Just say it. Say what you need to say to people. Help. Say what you need to say to yourself. <laughs> How do you need to address yourself? It's blunt. You guys need to look up Muhammad Ali. You guys need to look at him as inspiration. Something's about to take off for you. They're showing me a little glimpse of Nipsey Hussle, but not really. This is more Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, straight up. You guys need to get inspired. Okay. I want to get some, let me get some more of these. 
What's taking off for pile one? So you guys are getting insight. Competition. It's competitive. It is. You guys might have some people trying to compete with you. That's what they're saying. This is how good it's going to get. You know you're doing good when you have enemies. You know you have, you're have you doing good when people are copying you. You know you're doing good when people want to, you know, try to like edge you on. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't. Get in that ring. Get in that ring and believe. Believe who you are. This is, wow, this is competitive in some type of way. Um, I don't know if you guys are in some type of competitive field. There's something here. And it, it's not you who's really competing. It's like you're you're looking at this goal, but there's other people along this path. And, they're, and it's weird. So you guys might, I'm telling you, this deceit. There's someone that's trying to compete with you. Don't mind them. You're going to receive information who this is. And sadly, it could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be even your partner. So just be aware. When this comes through, have discernment. Follow your intuition. Now block whoever you need to block. They just said, watch your back. They touch my back. Watch your back. Whoa. Shit. Storm warning. That's what they just told me. Storm warning at the bottom. Okay. Listen, you guys. I want you guys. I know this is going to get a little heavy, but I got to be real because I don't know who's watching this. Somebody did a spell on you to keep your ankle, to keep you stuck. It, they're showing me the feet. There's something with, um. I know there's a certain spell that people do. Some type of fucking hex. People are idiots i'm telling you when they throw hexes on people you got to be the lowest vibration you got to be so pathetic to throw a hex on someone but someone i'm getting bound they tried to bound someone's ankles or feet it's 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 a spiritual war fight battle that's what they're saying so what it is is you're about to get the tea you're about to get the scoop possibly on who did this shit is what they're saying but don't worry, because no weapons formed against you shall prosper. You have this healing card, right? Archangel Gabriel came out with that horn. No one's going to get in your way. This is someone that's close to you. You would have no fucking idea how people, how jealous people are. You have no idea sometimes how people want what you have. They're saying a bounding curse. Somebody did something to keep you stuck. Damn, we don't even have a devil card out here. We don't have the magician card out here. They just told me straight up what it was with this deceit. See this? See how they're grinning and they're holding this, this chest? They're holding money from you? Someone's trying to stop you. Be aware of this energy. Be aware. If you don't have a person like this, be aware of anyone coming into your life that could be like that. But don't worry. We got the 10 here. There's going to be a completion. Yeah, they've been on, my ancestors' angels have been on this Harry Potter kick. They want me to watch it a lot. Um, they're showing me, do you guys remember the scene where Harry, it's the first movie, Sorcerer's Stone, I believe, where Harry's playing, he's on his room, and, and um, I'm forgetting his name. The professor, he's doing some type of spell to mess Harry up. Hermione catches on. And she fixes it. Is it Professor Slave? I think it was. I can't remember. I'm a little blurry on this one. Um, It's like someone is trying to get you to. But look, that's a competition. That's a game. There's something about games. Some type of competition. Someone trying to get you to mess up. Someone doesn't want you to win. They're actually showing me. Yo, this happened to me. They want me to tell you this. There was a dance competition and not a dance competition, I'm sorry, a dance performance that we had to do in high school. And we had a dance to do by the time we came back. By the time I came back, someone stole my my leggings. They stole my leotard. They stole, they stole my shit. Because bitches didn't like me. <laughs> bitches didn't like me in high school. And you want to know why they didn't like me? They used to say, she thinks she's all that. She thinks she's all that. I wasn't. I didn't think I was all that. I was hella awkward. <laughs> I was anxious. I had anxiety. I was worried about my mom. And all they could say is she thought she was all that. And they used to bully me. And they hit my shit. They hit my stuff right before a performance. And it's catty shit like that that girls will do in dance. That's happened. So I had another issue happen like that before in dance, in competition. I mean, not in competition, before dance class. But people will do stuff like that. It's like they'll try to 
fuck you up. They try to get in your way. And I'm getting that energy for you guys. Like there's someone that's trying to, someone's trying to throw like a, a wreck, a wrench. Um, what is it? Wreck. They're trying to wreck something. They're trying to throw a wrench in, in, in the, in your way. But don't worry. It's like, even if they try to fuck it up, or even if they do succeed at messing something up, you're going to win. You're still going to win. It, 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 you're still going to win. That's what's crazy. You're still going to win. Someone's not playing for you. So what you're going to realize, what's taken off for you, is that you're going to realize who this person is. So beyond everything else that's happened for happening for you, you're being free. Archangel Michael is not going to allow this to keep you stuck. But they're saying that there's a lesson within this. It's like half of the reason why you're stuck is because something is needing to take off in divine timing, which we already talked about, right? But there is someone that's trying to bound, like throw some type of spell at you. So I don't know if you guys are seen in it. Are you in the limelight? Are you in some type of sport? Are you competing? Are you doing something where you're being seen? And it could even be a friend that's always in competition with you. I had a very close friend that I loved dearly who was always in competition with me. And I loved her so much. And I still love her. She was my best friend, family. And one of the reasons why we're not friends is because she always wanted to fucking compete. And would never own up to it. So it's like one of those things where you have to be aware of energies like that. Like it shouldn't be a competition between friends. It should never be a competition. Never. You should be rooting someone on. It should never be like, let me outshine. And I feel like this could be that type of energy for you guys. All right. So this person is trying to wish on your, like, wishing for a downfall. Like, ugh, this person. Patience. See? Patience. The hangman. They're saying, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. We got something better. Hold up. There's something seen. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm seeing like um like a club entry. That's weird. VIP. They're showing me like a bouncer doing this. Wait, do you have party? Their table is taken. Okay, you guys, we have a, a, a separate room that you guys can go to. We're sorry about the, the, the delay. We're sorry about the inconvenience. We can move you here. It's something like that. It's like, oh, we were just going to sit here, but someone took our table. And all of a sudden, they move us to the VIP section because they messed up something like that is going to happen for you but it's bigger of course it's bigger than that we have this man holding a heart here so something could also be taken off within love okay so this is beautiful so you know what's taken off is someone could be offering their cup of love to you make sure this person isn't deceitful all right we have patience seven another seven seven is very big for you seven 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 do you see that on her sevens very spiritual. The Wheel of Fortune, that's highly transformative. Let's get these angel cards. Blossoming abundance, blessings. So I got to be real with you guys. There is a breakthrough. There's insight. You're going to get, you're just going to be getting the truth. You're going to be like, oh shit. Like, really? Okay. Now, how do I move forward with this? It's, it's getting the upper hand. You guys are going to get the upper hand. They're showing me jab, like left hook, right hook, uppercut. You're just going, you know, it's like you just know you're going to come out swinging. Don't underestimate the underdog. Do not. Woo! They told me to get this. Why did I pick up my mermaid deck? Because they wanted you to. Positive energy. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about these people doing this. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. What I say? Stay away. If you know someone is deceitful, you putting yourself in that person's energy isn't going to do you any good. Sometimes we hang on to people too long. Or energies, right? Treasure chest. Look at that. Oh, snap. What does she find, right? An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Blossoming abundance. That's what you're going to get. A blossoming abundance with blessings. So what's happening here is that with abundance, I want you guys to take, take note of this. You can have an abundance of anything. Okay? An abundance of anything. This could be clarity, insight on different things. This could be money oh got multiple streams of income coming in or oh I, my business is bringing in more people or oh they gave me a raise or i got a scholarship there's something taken off in that area but this could also be just an abundance of love or good luck in some type of area healing like oh this heal oh my childhood issues we've been healing we've been forgiven there's something like that let's see what's going on for you guys 
this is way longer than I said. You guys got a 34 minute reading. Fuck. Excuse my French. Like I'm supposed to be like cutting back on these readings. The time, but hell, we gonna do what it do. Bro, an idea. Look at that. <laughs> Bro, an idea. Look at that. Look at that. Who is this? Archangel Uriel. Oh, I just read a. I just read in that in the Angel Archangel Prayers book that I was just telling you about. Our Archangel Uriel Prayer. So that's amazing. Here he comes with that lightning bolt. About to throw it. He's like, look, look. You about to re recognize. You about to realize what's happening here. We're about to give you some messages, some clarity, some ideas, some insight. This Pegasus unicorn. Look at this. What does this say? Archangel Euro, yes, your idea is divinely guided with the will of fortune answers. Please take action to bring your ideas to fruition. Take action. This is about action. You guys, what's taking off is you're taking action. Look, he has wings, right? So maybe this isn't a Pegasus. Maybe this is just a unicorn. That's the angel's wings. Yeah, that's what it is. Oops. So Uriel, look at that. Doesn't that look like Lapis Lazuli in the background? Work with Lapis Lazuli. Third eye, throat chakra. Speak your truth. Remember who you are. Take your power back. Look at that. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. They're not playing with you. Archangel Michael showing up in a reading is saying, hey, look, look, you remember we have knowledge, wisdom, and insight? Teaching and learning, there's something that's going to come to you. Archangel Zadkiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas and teach these ideas to others. So here's the deal. When Archangel Michael shows up in a reading like that, take your power back. Remember who you are. See, when they show up like this, it's like, don't worry. Fret not. I just heard fret not. Fret not. Archangel Michael will cut the cords. Archangel Michael is a warrior. Is a warrior. That Archangel is nothing to play with. People underestimate the power of Archangel Michael. They underestimate how, par how powerful that Archangel is. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> People underestimate people who are blessed and protected by the angels and their ancestors and the divine. Call on the Holy Spirit. You guys need to call on the Holy Spirit. Whew. You don't have to be religious to call on the Holy Spirit. You don't have to be religious to call on archangels. You don't have to be religious to call on Jesus Christ. You don't have to be religious to call on these different ascended masters you may you know, feel connected to call on. Pray for discernment. Give me one card. One card at a time, Archangel. Thank you. Peace. Archangel Chamuel, peace comes from remember that only love is real. Remember. Remember who you are. Remember that only love is real. Be, be the bigger person in these situations. You know how some people are so unfazed? Like, I just heard smile in the midst of chaos. Mm. Kill them with kindness. It's cool. You tried to block me. That's cool. You see how you see her back there? Where's her brothers at? I wish you guys could see her brothers. But um, she's always around my readings. But she's Oracle Doggy. But I just feel like you guys are being protected. You're being watched over. These angels aren't playing. Patience. You got two cards talking about patience. You got two cards talking about abundance. Be clear about what type of abundance you guys want. Patience. What does this say? Archangel Joel, feel your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So what they're saying is we still need you to be a, little bit more, be a little bit more patient with us, please. But there's an idea that you have that you need to take action on because it's going to take off. That's what's taking off. Some type of idea, some type of insight, some type of epiphany. Oh, I could create this. It's like you're sitting down one day watching TV. You're like, oh, I wonder if I could, if I could create that. Oh, that would be amazing. You go back to eating and the angels are like, We did that. We gave you that. And if you don't act on that idea, it moves on to the next person. That's why you have so many people saying, I came up with that before. How? And then this person made it famous. Like, I literally was thinking about doing it. But did you do it? No. Okay. Then it moves on to the next person. Because we're energy. Okay. So they give you these little ideas. And when you don't act on it, it moves on to the next person. So they're saying, what's going to take off is that idea we gave you that we need you to act on. Okay, but be patient. It's not going to take off right away, but you can take some steps in between. You know, you can slowly get there. And then when you're ready, you're going to just take off. You're going to take flight. It's going to be like that. Oh, girl, you be scaring me. Hey, baby. <laughs> she, sometimes she's so quiet with her movement. And she's like looking at me. <laughs> it's like, ah, where are your brothers? Where are your brothers? At? Come here. Come say hi. Hold on, you guys. She wants to say hi. I hope you guys don't mind. 
Come here, baby girl. Come say hi, mama. Come say hi, mama. Come with me. You guys need to see this. I feel like there's something here. Hey, baby. Maybe spend time with your fur babies. Hey, help me with my reading. Be my good luck charm. Thank you. I love you. Peace. She brings me peace. That's what you guys need to know. You see how white she is? The white dove, Holy Spirit. That's what they just said. Peace. You are safe. Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones at home. Take back your power. That card keeps showing up for you guys. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Maybe you guys have, do you guys have fur babies? Comment below. Do you have a cat? Do you have a dog? Do you have any other? When I think of fur babies, I think of cats and dogs. But if you have any other pets, if you guys have pets, comment below. Do they bring you peace? Do they ground you? Because my babies, my three babies, they ground me. And especially this one. Lucy is very spiritual. I know a lot of people don't understand that. But she's very grounding and she's very imp impact. She's an impact. She's empathetic. You care about people. You have sympathy. You have empathy. Why did I say sympathy? I want to say empathy. That's weird. Sympathy. Oh. They just came through with a totally different message. Sympathize. This person wants you. Hold up. They're saying that someone's going to come to you guys. This is so crazy. Maybe it's, maybe it is when it, someone romantic. They're showing me a vision. I love how stuff like that happens. I'm playing with her. I swear. They give me the most interesting messages when I'm on water or when I'm with her. This is so weird. They're saying someone's going to come to you guys and they're going to want you to kind of like feel sorry for them. So be aware of someone, people draining your energy. It's like, feel for me. And it's like, I don't have time. Some people could be draining your energy. Some of you guys are water signs. Be aware of this energy, you guys. Not all of you. Just be aware of this energy. People coming to you. Oh, you violin, like. Someone was wanting a handout or offer. They want you to give them something. They want you to feel sorry for them. That's for some of you. I don't know why that just came through like that. Hey, it was supposed to. Right, Lou? Right. You got something in your eye. Prioritize your time and your energy. Okay, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you to get organized and motivated. Let's see what's going on. Healthy lifestyle, Archangel Raphael coming in, healing. Remember, you guys have the healing card. So what this is talking about is eat a healthful diet, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise. Remember, we hit the nine of swords, sleep regularly. Okay, so eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. So you, have, you guys have Archangel Raphael, you have Archangel Michael. There's some type of big change that's happening for you. It's like they're preparing you. You know how fighters get prepared before um a, a, a boxing match it's like they really work out hard you know who else they're showing me they're, they're showing me um floyd floyd my, is it money mayweather they're showing me him it's a bit of cockiness the fact that they're showing me muhammad ali and mr floyd floyd money what is the name mayweather okay anyways those two guys, some people see them as cocky. They even show me Bruce Lee now. Whoa, these are big guys. These are legends. But they're, people think of them as cocky. Maybe sometimes they are. But what it is, is they're confident. They're confident. They had to be that way. You have to have tough skin. You have to have thick skin. And you have to call people out on their shit. And you guys are going to be doing that. Especially if someone's coming to you, trying to get you to feel for them. They gave me so many weird words there. Got me all mixed up. But yeah, that's what you guys need to know. What's taking off for you guys? You guys gonna get some clarity. You guys to get an idea on how to move forward. You about to see people. Gifts from God are coming. Look at that. Archangel Santa fun. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. That's what's up. All right? That's what's up. You guys got some good stuff coming. And if anybody comments below talking about, you spent all that time with your dog, get off my channel. I don't like when people complain on my readings. I don't because these are free. So you can get to moving, get to stepping. I don't play that. I need to I need to actually make a, a, a mini video before stuff like that. I don't like when people tell me what to do on my own channel when I'm doing free readings and I'm a professional. So I get paid to do this. <laughs> and what I'm doing here is for free. So take it or leave it. You don't need to come. I don't need to hear you. <laughs> That's I'm a Scorpio. You don't play. Don't play with Scorpios. <laughs> a lot of people don't think I'm a Scorpio. Look, you got cornucopia. You guys need to be in this energy. This is very feisty. You guys are coming in like this. Just let's go. Let's go. 
I'm seeing that foot movement. Let's go. They're showing me Holly Berry. You guys, Holly Berry's really been into like, um, is it some type of, she's been working out a lot on um, martial arts. Maybe you guys need to follow her. They're, I'm seeing her. I'm seeing a picture of her with, um, with wraps. The wraps around your knuckles. I'm seeing her. They're showing me Catwoman, her version, her Catwoman. It's like you guys are talking shit. You guys are about to take off. Now, be aware of that energy, okay? Just make sure you can back it up. But something, I, it's going to be that good. Look at that confidence. Look at that. Oh, door to spirit at the bottom. Look at the white dove. Thinking woman. There's an idea they're going to bring to you. Take it up. Take off. Take it on. Look at that butterfly. Look at that confidence her look, she has wings on this i can't make this up see this is why I, I continue talking while i put cards up because sometimes you see the most coolest things i hate when i end a reading and all of a sudden all these cool cards come out that still resonate with the reading so i want you guys to see this so i hope you stayed I hope you stayed those who did stay hey you, you got a little extra message coming through you guys need to make a playlist with winning songs Massage your crown chakra. You guys need to just massage your head more. I don't know why that's coming through. Stimulate, stimulate, activate. All right, what's going on here? Is there anything else that's taken off for these beautiful people? The sun card. Happiness, bliss. That's what's taken off. Yeah, who cares what people got to say? <laughs> say what I want. People will say all types of things to you. People say, oh, they're too cocky. They're too confident. They think they're all that. I'm telling. The only reason why I'm telling you guys is because they're t they told me to share my story. I don't like to give too much of my information in readings because it's not about me. And I don't want to get my energy involved. But when they tell me to tell you a story, I'm going to tell you it. Because maybe I'm going to share that with you. Maybe because they want you to know something. People will say all types of things to you. People will say you got a smart mouth. People will say you're too cocky. You're too confident. You can do all that. Fuck them. Do you. Do you, boo. Empress. Do you. Shine on. People will talk a lot of shit, but when you make it, everybody wants to know, how'd you do it? Well, I believed in myself. And every time somebody shut me down, I kept going. When y'all was talking shit on the sidelines, I kept winning. <laughs> you, you in the bleachers. I'm in the field. You on the sidelines. I'm in the field. Imagine dragons. He said, while you're laughing and the nose bleeds, thunder, thunder. You guys need the lightning and the thunder. You had the, the lightning bolt, Archangel Uriel, throwing it. That's your song, all right? So that's what I have for you, pal one. I love you guys. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Me and Lucy would greatly appreciate it, right, baby? She's like, why did you pick me up like that? Okay, my bad. Um, love y'all. <laughs> pal 2, let's get into it. What's up, pal 2? Let's get some new energy. Lucy is here with us. Oracle doggy. What's up, Oracle doggy? My baby girl. Baby girl, you want to get down? Let's get into pal 2. You want to get down? No? I'm going to kiss my nose. <laughs> I love my baby girl. Okay, baby girl, what's going on? Pal 2, Holy Spirit, what's going on for Pal 2? You want to get down? She ain't budging. Okay, help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. Use me as a divine channel for the most pure, holy love and light. Archangels are so heavy in this reading. They were all in Pal 1. Archangel Gabriel's energy is still here. Thank you. Come on, Archangel Gabriel. What do you want them to know? What's taking off? Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ. Use me as a divine channel for the most pure holy love and light. Something you're fighting for. Something you want. This is this is specific. It's something you're fighting for. So maybe something you've been trying to attain. Or something you're trying to keep. Or something you're trying to win. Or learn. Or... We see there's something that you're fighting for. Five of Cups, Atmosphere, Portal. Something that you're trying to... You're saying, hold on tightly to my nose is itching. <laughs> Abundance and security. Nine of Pentacles. 
your own stability. It's like, I want my independence. I want to stay independent. I want my own independence. I want to stay in this position where I can take care of myself. I don't have to rely on anyone. That's what I'm hearing. You guys' energy is very different from pal one seven of swords mediate a resolution we need a resolution you have so much confusion Aaliyah, i did not sing that in the right melody of course so do not judge me that's just how i heard it okay i'm here am i supposed to change are you supposed to change who should be heard who should be blamed why are they playing that song when you slept on the couch, I thought you were coming out. I want to know where your fingers broke. You should let me know before I put on my clothes. I want to know. I don't own the copyrights to that song. I do not own the copyrights to that song, once again. They're saying something with that song. You guys need to listen to that song. Go watch the music video. We need a resolution. Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Strength. Courage. Desire. What is the words to that song? Oh my God, I feel bad on the words to that song. They keep playing something about, did she say, and when you sleep on the couch, I thought we were going out. I want to know where your fingers broke. Let me know before I put on my clothes. Something like that, I don't know. And it's probably the look. You crawl back in the bed. I want to know what was. Did she say what was in your head? Something like that. Oh, damn. I got to get better on my Aaliyah songs and singing it. Oh, sorry, y'all. Aaliyah, forgive me. Rest in peace, Angel. There's something about that song. They keep playing it. So when that happens, you guys need to listen to it. Okay, what's going on? What's taking off? A resolution something is about to it's like finally we're gonna we're gonna settle this we're gonna get some insight some type of clarity on how to move forward with this to fix this they show me a band-aid being put on it on something but it's it's deeper than that they're saying yeah um it's going to be healed it's not just like a quick it's not like a, something it's a quick fixer, fixer upper it's like a you put a band-aid on something in the, in the meantime right so it doesn't get infected but you got to take the band-aid off you got to let it get fresh air the wound get fresh air this could be a wound you guys that you guys have five of cups some type of depression there's something that you guys need to um mm, air chakra it's funny how they're using sensations heavy in this reading. Ear chakra, something you need to hear, something you need to listen to. Look, oh, hold on. Yeah, they're showing me the gold around her ears. See how she's crying? Resolution. They keep playing a song. Seven of Swords, something sneaky, something hidden. Hidden in something in the night. you guys trying to say what's taking off here breakthrough insight on something hidden something you're fighting for something you're you're getting you're figuring it out hey baby girl you good <laughs> hold on you guys they're giving me some type of message comfort peace is what they're saying but you're gonna gain you're gonna gain what you want but They're showing me the matrix. It's so weird. All the things they're showing me. That music video is quite futuristic. They're showing me this futuristic energy. It's, it's almost like the music video Scream with Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. It's kind of like the Matrix movie. They're showing me how like you're in this like um there's a card in a deck. Incubus. Oh, they want me to use that deck. There's some shadow energy you guys are dealing with shadow energy because they're showing me someone being in this like um egg like an egg but it's it's weird it's like you guys are it's like spy kids you guys remember the movie spy kids it's like um you're in this egg like vehicle like a ride and you're going through this tunnel and it's kind of dark but it's in the, while you're in this egg you're kind of like resting and transforming but the tunnel is dark and then all of a sudden you get this light. 
and this light shines on you and you receive this insight. It's very low key. It's like something going on underground or above ground. It, it's it's very futuristic. This is very, what is that movie that Scarlett Johansson was in? And she got a, a bit of, um, what is it? She had a bit of a clash. Well, she's not really her, but the, a lot of people didn't think that she should have been in that role because it, I don't know if the story was based on, um, I don't know if it was an Asian background, if the story was more, if they felt there should have been an Asian actress playing this part. What is it? It was very futuristic. It was very futuristic, but it was good. I thought she did great, but I understand what people mean. Like use different actors to play different parts, especially if it's has to do with someone of color. Like don't, you know, don't always use a Caucasian person to play a part that could be given to someone who is Asian, especially if the background is Asian or someone who is Middle Eastern, if the background is Middle Eastern or someone who's, you know, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> but um, I don't know, it's that movie. There's something with that movie that's coming through. I don't know what they're trying to show me because they're showing me things lighting up, like a matrix codes lighting up, codes lighting up, DNA activations, codes. They're showing me something with codes. Maybe that's the portal. It's a portal opening up. But you're going, you're having this energy of you being kind of sad and depressed, and then you're like overcoming it in some type of way. You need a resolution. We have so much confusion. <laughs> They keep showing me this matrix energy, this portal. Think of the 2000s, those music videos in the 2000s, they were really trying to focus on this whole like modern, um, modern futuristic kind of set kind of vibe. And that's what they're showing me. They're showing me this, this very modern futuristic kind of vibe, spaceship kind of energy, different portal, different dimension energy. And I don't know why this is coming through. This is so important. So what's taking off for you? Why is this take why is this what's taking off? What does this mean? Th what does this futuristic energy mean? Is is this just a symbolic? I'm I'm asking the angels. Is this symbolic of something happening in the future for them? Is this something that's a, a ahead of its time? Is that what you guys are trying to tell me? Is ahead of its time? Take on me. Ah the ahas. Yes, it's ahead of its time. Portal. Portal, mirror, portal. Weren't they looking at each other? He goes through, he jumps in. Newspaper, he jumps in. She jumps in. It's a portal. Something, you guys are, oh, jumping, jumping dimensions, jumping time, time frames. What are you guys doing here? This is spiritual. You guys are tapping into some deep shit. I want you guys to protect protect your energy, not to scare you. I never want to scare you. It's not. It's nothing really scary, but I do have to be a voice of reason here to let you know that when you start going in between dimensions, not all dimensions are oh, angels, unicorns, fairies. <laughs> it's not like that all the time. Sometimes it's demons and different weird, lower vibrational, mythical, mystical. I say mythical. Check that out. Mystical creatures like. We're in the third dimension here, right? But there's lower dimensions and there's higher dimensions and there's in between. So I always want to be real when I when I discuss dimensions and, and time jumping and astral projecting and astral traveling. That's why you have to protect your energy. Some people are all, all love and light and that's all they believe exists and it's bullshit. I got to be real with you guys about what's really out here. Okay, so that's not the scary. It's to be real. So protect your energy when you guys are doing these jump i'm jumping timelines jumper is that the movie jumper where he was just jumping in different places this is what's happening to you guys call your power back call your energy back when you when you guys wake up even when you go off into daydream call your power back make sure you say that truth intelligence this is higher intelligence this isn't just oh i went to college and i graduated in whatever and I majored in this and I went to the school and I blah, 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 blah. it's not that well I just studied this it's not that I got a certificate for this it's not that this is higher intelligence this is you know this feel like some stuff that shouldn't be tapped into it's almost like um they're showing me men in black yo this is a strange reading 
This could have to do with light codes, but there, this is strange. This clarity is something, here's the, the, the most easy way to, to get you to understand this. This is like ancient Egypt and the pyramids and how a lot of people feel they didn't build that all on their own. They had some type of higher knowledge or some type of divine help from higher, higher beings or different aliens or something to help them build those pyramids or to help them to build different things. Or to give them knowledge on certain things. Hybrid beings possibly. So judgment card. The book of revelations. Hybrid beings. Hybrid. Read the book of revelations because there's hybrid beings in that book. Literally. It's like the world card. Literally. Like I, keep, I hate when I say literally so much. But it's like the world card. It has like the hybrid um, line. They keep showing me the hybrid line. The sphinx. They're showing me the Sphinx. Okay, let's see what's in this card, this deck, because they wanted me to pull it so bad. You guys, you guys are the pal where they they just told me you should have your, your Egyptian deck. Like, I have a couple of ancient Egyptian themed decks, and those decks would have been used for you guys. The symbolic of the energy that we're tapping into, like comedic, comedic energy. Um, something here, ancient Egypt. The original names. Nothing whitewash. The original names. That's what they just said. The original story. Oh, the original story. Okay, look, they get deep. This has to do with ancient Egypt, possibly for some of you. Just an example. Sorry, Lou. <laughs> My kimono sleeves are getting her face. She's like, oh, Lou. Are some of you guys Wiccan? That may not be for everyone. That could be for someone, though. They're saying that could be for someone out there. That's not for everybody. That's magic. Some of you guys are... You're saying initiation? Oh, what, what was his name in the Matrix? Was it Leo? What was it, Leo? I don't remember his name. But how he was kind of, like, welcomed into that. Be aware. I don't want you guys... Okay, here's the deal. Whoa. I gotta be with you guys. Okay. Hmm, some, some strong energy has been coming out. The angels don't play. I, I feel like they really want to protect you guys. They're saying be aware of cults. Be aware of being sucked into or joining cults. They're showing me the pen, this, this pentagram, right? Is it a pentagram? The star? This is a, look, they have a feather. They have candles. They have a pendulum. The mirror, and this is magic, some type of ritual. They have this Wiccan, Wiccan, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it red? red? Hold on, sorry. Ethos. I don't know why. By the Wiccan law, ye must. Okay, golden rules, golden law, l mat. That's what you guys need to look up. M A A T, her laws, rules, justice. Karma, that's what they're coming through with saying. But they're saying be aware of being sucked into some type of um cult or group that it's like they claim that they're they're claiming something. They're saying own your own spirituality. That's as easy as I can, as I can say it. You don't have to join people. You have to, you don't have to be initiated into anything. Have discernment, follow your intuition, and be aware that there are cults out here. And it's not old school like you think. There's new school, new age cults. There are different spiritual cults out here. There are people that look like they're all normal and shit. And they're cult leaders. So be aware of that energy. Okay? I gotta, I'm gotta. i being hella real and blunt with these, with these readings. So be aware of this energy. Be aware of this. Protect your energy. They keep doing this with the ear. Like they're, It's funny because they're like going in and they're actually pulling on this. You're doing this, like, but they're going on the inside. So this is like, keep your ears open. Listen, observe, have discernment. Be aware of this energy. Be aware of, of that. Yeah, some people talk about, oh, it's a healing group. Sorry, baby girl. It's a healing group. Oh, we're doing this. But be aware of people. You'll know there's a difference between a, a safe group and a cult. And you guys need to know the difference. Okay, so that's a warning. But th they're letting you know that that's what's 
<laughs> there's always a, a shadow and light attribute here, okay, in life, in this world we live in. Because it's not the most high vibrational place. <laughs> so you got to dual energies. What they're saying is protect your energy. That's a heads up for some of you. Heads up. Boundaries. Yep. Set boundaries with these people. All right. What's going on here? But you guys specifically wanted me to pull this deck. Why? Masculine. Lord God. I just got indigestion when I said that. Excuse me. I got like really like heartburn. Speak up. Ooh, I need something to drink. Speak up. It's weird how like it always gets me when I feel sensations and different stuff happen like that in readings. Okay, what's going on? What's this about? What's taking off for them? What's taking off? Stability. Staff. This reminds me of Moses when he parted the sea, right? <laughs> Ancient Egypt. <laughs> Let my people go, Pharaoh, right? Mm -hmm. Let my people go. What's going on? So, yeah, this is ancient. This is, you, this is deep. This is deep, you guys. Some of you guys might, there's something with studies, spiritual studies, religion, studying religion, history, hand fasting, union, was taken off for you, some type of union. You guys are coming out of dark times. Spell manifestation. Hmm. Sorry, guys. My table's squeaking. What's going on here? What are you guys trying to say here? Manifesting what you want? That's what they just say. Some of you guys are doing spell work. Make sure that it's for your highest good. That's what I can say. Whenever you mess with whenever you mess with magic, let me tell you something cuz we we perform magic every day, really. We really do everybody. Especially your minister. <laughs> I'm being bad, but it's true, right? Every time you get up there and you take communion. You know, we don't realize it. We you know we speak things into existence. We pray, we lay hands over people. What we're doing, right? Jesus was, was the ultimate alchemist, the ultimate God, the Alpha and Omega is the ultimate alchemist and we were made in his image. Now, we are not God, but God is within us and we are, how do I say it? We are a part of God. Think of God as the outlet and us as the, the plug, the cables that are going back and forth from this one huge source, this outlet. We are made in God's image. Now, that's highly po powerful and important for you guys. You guys are going to be receiving, ah, oh, that's what they're saying. This is, some of you guys aren't going to like this. I don't care, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We have summer, watchtower of the south. So we have something blooming, prosperous, prosperous, happiness, joy, sunflowers. This is happiness. Some, what, how does summer make you feel? Because even this nine of pentacles makes me think of summer. We're going to get back to what I was saying, but hold on. Summer. So summer talks about happiness, spending more time outside in nature with the animals, feeling good, flowers, just warmth, heat, sun, mask, and there's eye of raw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eye raw, sun god raw that's coming through. Very strong energy. Um, why did they just say Lord Ganesha? That just randomly came through. Whoa, okay. So some of you guys are connecting with Ganesha. Um, love Ganesha, by the way. But anyways, let's talk about God real quick. Because they're saying something about God. The divine. Okay, the Holy Spirit. They're saying something about, okay, so God told Moses. God d guided Moses on what to do. What to say, how to act. Gave him authority, gave him power. He needed to obey God. Breakthrough, insight. He received insight, this judgment call. There needed to be a judgment call. He received this staff. This spell, speaking things into existence. So what's happening is God's giving you guys some type of heads up. Okay? This is deep. The divine is giving you a heads up, giving you the power to, giving you the authority is what I'm hearing, to do something. How you use that power, 
how you use your position of authority and leadership, because Moses was a leader, is up to you. That's what's going to truly show who you are at a soul level and how far you've evolved, how, you know, how much you've evolved. So you guys are being put in a position of authority. Lord, oh, Lord God, bingo, masculine. I even pay attention, God, God. You're being put in a position of authority. That's what's taken off of you. And we think power. I, I get to be this boss. I have, people don't get to tell me what to do. I can tell people what to do. Being in a position of authority and leadership isn't an easy job. People want it. It's not an easy job because guess what? You're in a position of leadership. And although people shouldn't rely solely on one person's words and their messages, you often people do. Think of a mega church. Think of a big church when you have this minister and they have all these followers. Think about these people on Twitter and Instagram who claim to be spiritual teachers. Some of them truly are, some of them aren't. And they have huge followers. They have this following, right? Because let's be honest, something about humans is it's very animalistic in my opinion that we like to follow the herd not everyone but it's like this one person saying that we should do this they seem to know what they're talking about let's do it <laughs> for some reason sometimes humans go with that um it's something about that they're showing me the wizard of oz how they thought it's it's really interesting it's like going to see this big divine being and there is this divine being but it's not exactly what you thought it was some of you guys are looking for a man you're looking for this huge gigantic god that's a man and god isn't a human god isn't a physical vessel that's what's throwing you guys god is energy god is source he's but our, our human minds have a hard time comprehending this. We're, we try to figure out, well, what, what would God look like so we could visualize, so we can get the idea of it? We want to visual, we want to get a picture of everything. The closest description that we would have that might be closer to God, it would be what? God's son, Jesus Christ, if you believe in Jesus Christ being God's son. Or, you know, that's the closest thing we can think of to something so big for some of you guys, Right? For some of you guys, it's angels, archangels. You think, wow, maybe it's something like that. But God is energy. It's this big source. It's something that you can't imagine. Is the word unfathomable? Is that, the, is that a word? They just said something like that. I got to check that. But I believe that's a word, but I don't know if I said it correctly. It's something so major and something so big. And it's not this man hiding behind the curtain. So there's something that you're about to see. You're about to get a position of leadership, some type of position of authority. And maybe it's spiritual. Maybe it's something big. It could be within a family. There are some people who are chosen. They're so different from their family and they're, they're chosen to be leaders. Maybe for the future generations to come or the younger generations. And maybe even to change the mind of the elders. Something you're going to do. They may have judged, but when they see you in action, it's like, whoa. That's what's coming through for you guys. So this position of authority comes with great responsibility. They're not playing about that. You guys need to watch The Prince of Egypt. Because some of you guys don't. I know some of you guys don't want to read the Bible. Some of you guys don't want to read the Book of Moses. That's cool. But just... Get some type of idea on who, Moses, that story, because this has to do with your reading. It, it could even be something you have to do. S standing for what's right, what's fair, what's just. Being that person, being that soul that does what's right in the world. Not letting power get to your head, because that's where people F up. When they let power and ego get to them. You have all this, 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 whoa, they are getting deep in this. You guys are talking about how Lucifer abused his, 
power and his beauty. He was given, he was the best looking ar archangel. He was over music. He, he had it going on up there, okay? But he wanted to be God. He wanted to outdo him. He wanted more. You know, humans, it's it's funny because humans always want more. It's it's that energy. It's like, we're always greedy. Why do we have to be so greedy? Like, you get a little bit of power and you're like, well, I want some more. <laughs> Why? You have, you have all of this. Be grateful for what you already have. Don't abuse your authority or your power. And that's what's coming through. Okay, what's taking off? You guys are be giving some type of power. You could even be coming into union with someone. I feel like you're coming into union with the divine, with God, Christ consciousness, higher realms. And they're giving you power and stability. They're giving you more power behind your words and your manifestations. They're giving you insight on how to make things happen, a resolution to your issues and your problems. This is a come to Jesus, pal. I know you guys aren't going to like this. I don't care. Get off my channel if you don't like this. This has to do with the divine. This has to do with God. This has to do with Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. If you believe in a different religion, that's cool. Go to who you believe in. This is getting to the source. This is not about... You talking to someone, some type of spiritualist. This is not about you getting a reading. This is not about you, you know, following some group or all of that, trying to connect. No, you have had the connection this whole time. All you simply need to do is ask. Ask and you shall receive. All you simply needed to do was pray. All you simply needed to do was meditate. Talk to God like you would talk to anyone else. You are protected. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. What do they need to know? What's taken off for them? Use your power for good to help others. It can be taken away from you. Just as quickly as it's given from you, given to you, it can be taken from you. Psychic abilities. Just as quickly as it's given to you, it can be taken from you. Use your gifts wisely. Use your power wisely. It's all about intention, baby. Give me one, please, archangels. Can I get one? Holy Spirit, prosperity. Look at that. Look at that. That's what's taken off. Golden, golden opportunities, prosperity coming from this. Don't abuse your power. Don't abuse it. Because guess what? The divine will bless you. You will be so blessed. Oh, Aaron. Who's Aaron in the Bible? Aaron, is it Aaron's um, breastplate that had the crystals and stones? Yeah, crystals and stones are in the Bible. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Aaron, is it Aaron's breastplate? Aaron, Aaron's breastplate. Hold on. There's something. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Who is Aaron in the Bible? I forgot, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally. Um, God, give me, give me what you're trying to tell me here. What do you want us to know? There is, hold on, hold on. Give me the Bible verse. I don't want to hear about what people have to think about it. Give me the Bible verse. Give me the scripture. Oh, breastplate of the high priest? Really? Um, What's going on here? What's the significance of this? See, you're getting a higher position. See how this, this being is crowned? Used to communicate with God. The breastplate was originally worn by Aaron, elder brother of Moses. Get out of here. Get out of here. Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Aaron. Oh, Prince of Egypt. They didn't go into the whole breastplate thing in the Prince of Egypt. Oh, 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 my ankle just popped. Oh, don't you love when stuff like this happens in readings? Live time. Well, not really. You're not watching this live, but you seeing you're you're seeing what I'm seeing at the same damn time. Okay, like I'm figuring this out along with you. Ah. Uh, okay, what stones? Maybe you guys need to work with these stones. What are the sacred twelve song stones? There's something here with that, and of course, some of the stones can be different. You know, of course, different quality. So the stones were sardius, which might have been ruby. You have topaz, you have carbuncle, which may have been garnet, 
emerald, sapphire, diamond, jacinth, or jacinth, no jacinth, I don't know, agate, amethyst, beryl, onyx, and jasper. Each stone was engraved with the name of one of the 12 tribes of Israel. You guys need to do your research on this. Yeah, the Bible's interesting. Have discernment when you read it. But um, just like any other spiritual text that may have been translated over and over. Let's see something. Can you give me the actual Bible verse for this? Um, Let's see. Holy Spirit, can you give me the Bible verse for this? Please show it to me right away. Right away. I want to see the Bible verse. I don't want to hold these people up, but we need to know what's going on. Thank you, God. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on? What's going on here? Thank you, King James Version. Please. Load it up fast. This is interesting. Oh, <gasps> it says, and thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment. Judgment card. And thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work after the work of the e I don't know if this is ephod. Thou shalt make it of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of and of fine twined linen. Thou shalt make it four square. So he's telling them how to make it. He he broke it down and told them how to make it. Talks about gold. It's a description of how to make it. And Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel, Israel, and the breastplate of judgment upon his heart when he goeth into the holy place for a memorial before the Lord continually. And thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Thummim, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goeth in before the Lord. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. And thou shalt make the robe of the ephod all of blue. This is being crowned when you're given power use it wisely when you're crowned as a high priest or high pri priestess use it wisely do not be like lucifer use your power wisely because god will help you will bless you beyond measure Guess what they just said? What is it? Before your enemies. That's Psalms 23. Hold on. Psalms, that's so bad. I used to know Psalms 23 by heart. Hold on. Give, give me Psalms 23. You guys need to read Psalms 23. If you can get a Bible, keep it open to Psalms 23. Just keep it open in your house. Say it whenever you feel off balance. When you ever you feel negative energy, just say it. When you need to cleanse your energy, say it. Pray. Cleanse your energy. You guys, you guys have a higher spiritual calling. And with this comes trial and error. They just say triumphant. Some of you guys need to connect with gospel music. They're saying here with this reading, I am not trying to scare you, but there will be energies that do not want you to succeed. They do not want you to develop they do not want you to grow spiritually there will be there will be these beings that will try to knock you and break you they will use your own family to get to you do not let this stop you joseph joseph in the bible <laughs> oh joseph in the bible is it joseph who was thrown into the lion's den look they got me jumping joseph joseph was it joseph thrown into the lion's den by his own brothers? Was it Joseph? His own brothers. <sighs> and guess what happened with that? <laughs> Woo! You see how the tables can turn for you, right? Your enemies. Let's go back to 23rd Psalms. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Now anointest. Now thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Ace of cups. My cup runneth over. Yeah, it don't matter who was doing what against you. Listen. Listen. You need to listen more. 
That's what they're saying. You need to listen to the divine. I've been trying to pray. I've been trying to connect with God, my angels, my ancestors. And I, I don't know why I can't get. You need to listen. Is it Daniel or is it Joseph? Who is Joseph in the Bible? But you need to know about Daniel too. Because Daniel, Daniel overcame. Why? Okay, hold on. What happened to Daniel? Because Daniel tried, he, he had some type of glory. Like, what I mean by that, he, what was meant for his downfall ended up taking him to a higher position. I'm trying to figure out what exactly happened to um, Daniel. Daniel saved from lions by the God of Israel because I was found blameless before him. What happened? Come on, y'all. Please, please. I don't want to hold these people too long. What happened to him? Wasn't he, um, did he receive some type of position of authority? Give me the Bible verse. Give me the Bible verse to this. We need to know this. We're going to get into this. We're getting to the nitty gritty. I'm not playing. We want to know. Um, give me, give me, you, you have all these biblical stories. Uh, okay, hold on. We need to know, keep in mind Joseph, because I might forget. Daniel, Daniel, Lion's Den, Bible verse. Come on, give me, give me the tea. Because let me tell you something. That one, that's a perfect example of, of Psalms 23. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. There we go. They're showing me those cartoons. Maybe some of you guys are brought up Christian or Catholic. It doesn't have to be um, or Jewish for some of you. But um, they're, sh they're saying, they're showing me. I haven't seen these in so long. I wonder if I can find it. They're showing me how they used to have those cartoons that used to sh um, share like biblical stories for kids. Maybe you guys need to watch that. That might be helpful for some of you. Okay, can we get to the point? What happens to... to um... Okay, King Darius, blah, blah, blah. He said to the King Daniel, who exiles from Judah, pay no attention to you. He said, praise three times a day. Hold on, you guys. So when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in God. At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. Was it his own brothers, if I'm not mistaken? I'm not sure. The king Darius wrote, may you prosper greatly. He prospered. Okay, so what was he? Wasn't he given a power? Okay, I don't know why. Give me what ha, was he? A, what happened? Did they give him power? Was he made like a a high? What was he made? He he, he gave him something. Hold on. Yeah, in the Bible. Let me know. What's up? Anyone who opposes him, even God's high priest, will be swept away and wiped out. Hold up. You can't mess with... Yeah. Untouchable. That's what they're saying. When you when you connect with the divine, when your karma is good, when your intention is pure, no one can no one can mess with you. That's what's coming through. Okay, so um, I want you guys to look up. I don't have time to really look into this too much longer. It's three eighteen a.m. Anyone who opposes him, even God's grace, yeah. God wasn't playing. Hold on, you guys. Let's look up um, Daniel's role. They're saying, look up Daniel's role. Daniel, Daniel's role in the Bible. Thank you. Babylonian court. What was he? 
While the best known Daniel is the hero of the book of Daniel who interprets dreams and receives apocalyptic visions. The Bible also briefly mentions three other individuals of this name. Okay, so how many... No, 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 no. We want the Daniel the lion's den. What the heck is going on here? I don't, I don't trust the internet too, too much with this. But, um... Prophet Daniel... You guys just need to look up his story, all right? Let's look up Joseph. Who is Joseph? It, wait, wait, wait. Didn't we look up Joseph in the Bible? Joseph is... Hold on. Let me just make sure I got this right, Joseph. No, no, no. Aaron is Moses' brother. But um, isn't he a half-brother? I'm not mistaken. Oh, hold on. Don't don't listen to me. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm Joseph in the Bible. Hold on, you guys. In the Bible. Come on, you guys were you guys had me on a roll, angels. Let me know what's happening here. See, I told you archangels were here. Like I, I haven't been to church in such a long time, you guys. I don't remember all this stuff. So Joseph was one of Jacob's twelve sons. His father loved him more than any of the others and gave him a colored cloak. Ooh. His brothers were jealous of him and sold him into slavery. It's Joseph who had the jealous brothers. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about, y'all. I got Daniel and Joseph makes that, but I'm sorry. Um, sorry, Jesus. Thank, sorry, Holy Spirit. Thank, you. Sorry, God. But thank you for the information. So what we have here is, so Joseph was betrayed by his brothers. Daniel was the one that was thrown into the lion's den. So they were both betrayed. So, and even Jesus was, was betrayed. So you guys might go through some type of betrayal, five of cups energy, seven of swords energy, right? And it's like, I'm... Where is the resolution to this? Because why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? Sometimes you're the chosen one. You're put in positions where you're like, why Why did this happen to me? I did everything where I played by the book. Don't worry. Keep believing in God. God will come through. You will see your breakthrough. You will see your breakthrough. This is, this is who I was looking for. It's Joseph. That's why we kept getting a blank, bumping into a wall with Daniel. He was taken to Egypt and eventually became steward to Potiphar, I don't remember the man's name, one of Pharaoh's officials, okay? So he had a higher position. <laughs> His brothers were jealous of him. They tried to, they tried to sell him, put him into, well, they did so sell him into slavery. Hating ass people, your own family. But guess what? He still succeeded. And that's what happens when you're blessed. That's what happens when you're in alignment with the divine. You receive power prosperity use your power wisely <laughs> what else did you mean you guys just had like a little biblical story i hope i didn't media it too much i say media because you know the character media is always messing up bible verses i hope i didn't mess it up too much for you but that came through i love this reading so much it's very powerful let's get into the rest of your messages what's taking off for you financial health prosperity look at that won't he do it won't he do it Look at that. Won't he do it healing you financially? See, the divine is going to bless you. What you do with that power and that positivity is up to you. Do good. Do good. And protect your energy. Oh, Compassion. Have compassion for the world. See, these, these beings still had compassion. Moses still had compassion. Have compassion for others. That's the true teaching of Jesus Christ. Not re and I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about God. That's the truth. Because a lot of times people get religion caught up with God and, and, and Jesus Christ. And they throw it all away because they don't like religion. Sometimes you have to separate religion from your own relationship with God. Some people understand. Some people don't. It's okay. It's okay. You know. Your well-being, taking care of your well-being. What's taking off? One more, one more, one more. Give me one more. Love. Love is the highest frequency, the highest vibration. Divine love, God's love, life purpose, helping you. You have a mission here. You guys have a higher mission. For all of this to come out, for all of this to come out, you have a higher position of authority. You've been granted this. You've been chosen for this. Do not take this lightly. 
Do not take your power lightly. Don't get cocky about it. Do not take your 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 life. Don't look don't look at yourself as little or small. God has you here for a reason. He puts you on in on this earth for a reason. You guys are being called to go to a temple, to a church. You don't have to I'm I'm seeing something old school like going I'm seeing more of like a Catholic church because I don't know I don't know if any Christian like I was raised like technically I think it would be considered like Baptist, but you guys need to go somewhere and light a candle and like kneel and just talk to the divine without interruption. Just being in a sacred holy place. It could even be a sacred land. Maybe you guys are going back to a sacred land. You know what I'm talking about? Um, it's like going to a temple to pray, just to, to be at peace. Maybe even to look at the, the art in the church or something about connecting with the divine. Mm-hmm. Give me um, one card, please. This is a powerful pal. I want to know who chose this pal. The garden, the gate. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Journey. Stepping out of your comfort zone. This is spiritual. This is more spiritual. Rest and rejuvenation. Look, he's meditating. Ah, uh, you guys need to, maybe even Buddha, looking up the story of Buddha, but you guys need to look up the story of Jesus. Door to spirit, Holy Spirit. We what are we talking about this whole time? The Holy Spirit. Five, change. Door to spirit is opening for you. Portals. Rest and rejuvenation. This journey is inward. Man holding a heart. I feel like this is more compassion for the world. This isn't romance. I'm sorry. Door to value. You got it. See how the divine will bless you and take care of you. Isn't there a Bible verse about the birds? Something about the birds always having what they need. Something like that. See, look, here I go. <laughs> yeah. So you got door to spirit opening, door to value, and you have this man holding your heart. But I feel like this is more compassion for the world. It could be love. But I'm getting something deeper than that. It's, it's beyond romance. We just get stuck on romance so much. This is beyond that. Arch <laughs> like Archangel Gabriel. Did not say that. Woo! There he is. Whoop, there it is. Had to lighten energy a bit. Um, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, speak your truth. What did Moses have to do? He had to speak, right? He had to, to use his voice. He had to say something. Even think of Joan of Arc, her, that character, um, that, that deity, that being. Um, think of different characters um, or, or ascended masters or stories where someone had to speak their truth even if they were going to be crucified for it they spoke their truth all right so using your throat chakra judgment messenger of god there's a message coming through prophetic message coming through what's taking off is that you are really stepping into some very spiritual territory territories here okay something that is deep Something that's not much to play with. Something that shouldn't be taken lightly. Something that should be respected. I'm hearing don't take it lightly, but don't. It's weird. Don't take it lightly, but don't take yourself too seriously. It's like, just go with the flow of it. It's weird. It needs to be a good balance. And Some people get into their ego too much. Okay, so be aware of that energy. Be aware of how you're using your power. Okay? Use it for good. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. That's what I just heard. Yo, this is God. This is divine. This is source, the creator. Woo, Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you, pal, too. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Holy Spirit, give me some new energy for pal three. Pal three, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come through using his divine channel for the most purest, holy, love, and light. If you guys feel called to go watch another pal, do that. That's what they just said. That's what they just said. That's for some of you. It was taking... Oh! What's at the bottom? Soulmate, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, all right? So you guys have... Growth. It keeps dropping from my hand yo yo i hate when this happens 
Oh my God. When you have nails, how do girls have these long nails? Because I can't pick up anything with my short ass nails. <laughs> how do people have those long acrylics? Anyways, loyal sensitive. <laughs> Page of cups. The energy really shifted. Um, we have the knight of cups here. So this is growth. You go from the page to the knight. So what's taking off for your growing? Oracle. Intuition, the unknown. Yeah. You're growing. High priestess. Higher knowledge, wisdom. Three of wands, creativity. Creative um, solutions to problem. Oh, solution. Bingo. Yeah. Healing, arguments, anger. Three and three. Three, three, three. Oh, it's 3.30 a.m. Okay. You have three of wands and three of swords, the moon. Feminine energy, hidden, the unknown. Tapping into the emotions. You guys are water signs. Or you have water in your chart or you're just in that energy. And look, we got the death card, Scorpio. Endings and transformation, literally. Okay, so you guys have some shadow energy too. This one is more of like um transformation. You have the snake here. You have the moon. You have the koi fish. Three of swords, arguments, anger, illusion, and fear, endings, and transformation. You guys are growing. It takes some time. So what it is is they showed you right away that you're going to get to this Knight of Cups energy. But in between time, it's like you have this three of swords, this healing of the heart. And you have this moon, which is like, I'm afraid of the unknown. This is fear. It's weighing heavy on your heart. You have the death card, which is about endings and transformation. So you're transforming and it's a bit, it's a bit um, shocking. It's a bit scary for you. It's like change scares you. Change is uncomfortable, but one thing is for sure. It's always going to happen, right? Death, change, birth, things you can't run away from. It's always going to happen. What, what's happening for this pal? What's taking off of him? transformation that's what they just said this transformation taking over them Duh. that's what i just heard the what's happening the angels archangels what's happening second chakra archangel ariel this is your sacral chakra i just got nauseous nine you have two nines here you have two threes here what are you guys trying to say with this one? Ancestral healing. Ancestral healing. Anoint yourself, you guys. I don't know why that. I just heard that. Anoint yourself every morning. I don't know why they just said for 10 days straight. Just make sure you're anointing yourself. You're praying. Keep the Bible open to 23rd Psalms. I don't. I just said that to another pal. But there's something here with you guys getting over fear. The, of the unknown, like things are going to get better. Broken heart. Yeah, three swords. You guys are, you guys are either dealing with the, something that's just happened or something that has already transpired, but you're still hurt from it. It's something that's still weighing heavy on your heart. What's taking off for pal? You guys need to take care of your gut health. They just said that your stomach, your gut, your intuition. Take care of your stomach. Who who rules the lower chakra? The um not the lower chakras, but the okay. Is it Scorpio that that rules? Um, the reproductive organ or the sexual organs? I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm I'm blanking here. There's something with Scorpio energy. Okay, let's move on. I don't know what they were trying to tell me there. Ooh, come on, give me one card, please. Let's take it off for you guys. Let's ring this bell again. What's happening? Obstacles are being removed. They just said Ganesha. Okay. Adjacent possibilities. Obstacles are being removed. See, different doors are opening. Like, okay, so that didn't work. But we got another door for you. Six. Harmony. Yep. We're, we got another door that's opening for you. You may not see it quite yet. But what's taken off for you is that there's other ways that we're going to get you to where you need to be. Ten. Storm warning. You guys, this is this is watery. This is this is um I don't want to say that. Give me a better, give me something else. I don't want to say that.
They're showing me a tornado. A oh, bingo, tornado here. But what they're trying to show me, they gave me a specific disaster that I, that. They said, no, say it. They're really not back. Okay, think of Katrina. That's what I want to say. Think of Katrina. It's something with wild waters, like, um, or think of a tsunami or, uh, something, some type of world. This is, this is symbolic. This is, I'm not saying this is going to happen. This is, not, this is more symbolic. This is, it has to do with your emotions. They're saying you cannot keep your emotions bottled up. They will explode and they're going to wipe. It's like, it's just going to come crashing down and they're going to, it's going to take everything out with it. It'll become destructive. And that's one thing that Scorpios are good at doing. Like they, they can become, <sighs> Scorpios are good at transformation, but they can become quite self-destructive. Like they can mess up something. Like it's, sometimes it's for their good. They know when to have the storm and, and wipe things out, but sometimes they don't need to go through all of that. So it's very Phoenix-like. It's very... It's very dramatic. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting like this very dramatic scene in a movie. Um, they're showing me Storm, the superhero. It's let me create all of this. Some of this they're saying is from your own creation. Like you, you created this for yourself. It's, it's um, what is what is it called, you guys? It's um manipulating something, manipulating elements. I don't know why they just said that. Water is your element. Water is your element right now, you guys. And they want you to use it wisely for cleansing and purification. Give me a second, baby girl. Um, what are you guys trying to tell me here? They're showing me like a lake, a pond. Not a pond, a lake, a river. Show me down south. This is down south. This is down south. Sorry, my earring is irritating me, guys. You're showing me a river, a lake down south. Imagine a storm brewing so strong that all of a sudden you see what's underneath the water. Like what's under this really dark water just swipes up. Like you have, you know, sometimes you'll have things that'll wash up on shore. They're showing me snakes washing up. They're showing me like how snakes are just like all at the bottom of something. They're showing you this koi fish at something. It's like this, yeah, this lake. They're showing me down south. Some of you guys might have a connection to Louisiana. The fact that I mentioned Katrina, and God bless anyone who dealt with that. God bless anyone who, who lost anything or even survived it. God bless Louisiana, but there's something deep with this. There's something deep with this. There's something, this adjacent possibilities, obstacles being removed. But what's crazy is I'm seeing this working in your favor. We're asking what's taking off for you. This is... Your own emotions are brewing. They're brewing. And the one thing they're saying you need to do is express yourself. You need to feel this or it will become destructive for you and not in a good way. They're saying use your power. They're showing me storm. Use it for good. How, could you, how can you use this energy this pain, this sadness, this sorrow in a good way. How could you channel this energy into something for the better? How? Is it art? Because we have creativity. Art therapy, you guys. Art therapy. Creating art, painting, pouring into something. Some of you guys, I'm at the B-roll, some of you guys are using sex, some of you guys are using drugs, alcohol, overeating, over shopping, escapism to try to heal from something. And your angels are saying that's not the way. You're going to continue to feel empty or depleted. You're going to continue to feel like I don't, I feel empty or this is draining me of my energy. And it's because you're replacing this, you're trying to replace this feeling or cope with this feeling in the wrong way. You need to feel what you're feeling. You need to face it. You have to embrace what's going on. You have to face it. You have to confront it. You have to feel in order to heal. You can't run from it. You can't run away from healing. 
you can't run away from what needs to be healed. And this pal has some heavy ancestor energy simply because it's generational. Yeah, they're saying this has to do with aunt. Did I say that in the beginning? It has something to do with your bloodline. That's why they told me Louisiana. Because I have roots there. So they, they knew that I would connect it to family and bloodline. The family tree. So you guys need to look at where you're from. Where are you from? Your history, your, your family. How did they do things? What needs to be healed so that you're not carrying that trauma or carrying the same torch that needs to be thrown away like we don't need to carry this baggage this this drama or this addiction or this curse we can break this we can have a new way of doing things is what i'm hearing a totally new way of doing things we don't have to continue having this curse go through our, our bloodline so something is shifting you 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 guys are the storm you guys are the ones that are creating this chaos and it's not in a bad way it's kind of like i'm a storm clears out energy and usually if you watch x-men they're showing me holly berry i got her in another pal that's so weird i got a cat woman but now i'm getting storm it's the energy of when she comes through it's the blind it's to create some type of energy where you can't see what's going on Right? It's a bigger energy. And I feel like you guys are doing this in your own life. And it could be used for good. You can use it to clear out stuff. What's, what's taking off for you, though? So, anxiety. Okay. So, you have this anxiety card, which breaks down to a nine. Get out of your head. Babies, babies. You guys have a lot of backstory. I'm asking about what's taking off for you. God bless you. I'm asking for what's taking off for you. But you're, you guys got a lot of backstory. And look what's happening outside of her house. See that thunderbolt and lightning? But you created it. It's your overthinking. You're overthinking and it's making you depressed. It's making you angry. It's making you sad. It's making you. It's taking you into this dark energy. You cre you're creating your own storm by this overthinking. Look at her. She's in her head. And then all of a sudden, this is power. It's like... It's almost a form of manifestation. You create your own storms. You don't even realize it. You're a damn near storm. Watch X-Men. You, and this could be used so powerfully. Some of you guys are connected to, is it Oya? Oya. Look, one of my dogs is drinking water. Something with water. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me information on her, Holy Spirit. What's going on here? I think she creates. Come on. Google, load. Load Google. I don't have time for this. Oya is one of the most powerful African goddesses, Orishas, a warrior queen. She is sister wife of the god Shango to whom she gave the power to create storms. Stop. Much of Oya's energy is rooted in the natural world. She is a goddess of thunder, lightning, tornadoes, winds, rainstorms, hurricanes. I'm getting excited in these readings because, yo, this is powerful. So you guys have Oya coming out here. Literally storm the superhero, but we have Oya. You guys want to look her up. You guys want to do research on her. You guys have the power to create your own storms. Now, this could be used for good or it could be used for bad. Right? Anything with into it, it's all about intention, right? It's all about intention. This storm, it started within your mind. You start thinking, you know, when you're up at night, man, I spent too much money. Oh my God, how is my money gonna grow? I don't know, man. Does this person love me? I don't know if they love me. I don't. Will I ever have love? Will I, will I ever have anyone? Is my life ever, am I ever going to be happy? Like, what if I'm not good enough and I don't know if I should do this? Will I ever, ever, all of that shit. You're in your head and all of a sudden you start 
seeing rain and thunder and lightning. I mean, it could actually, if you have some, if you, if you got skills like that, whoa. But this is more of, um, it's, it's symbolic. You create your own storms. You end up manifesting your, your worrisome thoughts. You end up manifesting this ish. You, you brought this upon yourself. Bible verse. What Bible verse is that? Hold on, you guys. They're telling me, look it up. Holy Spirit, what Bible verse is that? Isn't that a Bible verse? Isn't that from a Bible verse? Jeremiah. Is it Jeremiah? What is this about? Low fast, please. Thank you. Okay, Jeremiah 2.17. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself and that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God when he led thee by the way? So let's look at the new, the new international version. Have you not brought this on yourselves for forsaking the Lord your God when he led you in this way? What happened? The men of Memphis and Tephans have shaved the crown of your head. Have you not brought this upon yourself for forsaking the Lord your God when he led you in that way? Now what will you gain on your own way to Egypt to drink the waters of the Nile? What will you gain on your way to Azria to drink the waters of Euphrates? I don't know what that's about. Hold on. Let's see. I don't know what that's from. What are they trying to tell you? Hold on, hold on, you guys. Uh-huh. Okay. Something about waters. Hold on, you guys. Jeremiah two thirteen. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out of cistern, cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Hold on, you guys. There's something to this. Oh, you have committed two sins. They have forsaken me. The spring of living water and have dug their own cisterns. Okay. I cannot hold water. What is this about? I don't know what they're trying to say here, but it's like you have brought this upon yourself. There's something. I think this is more of a war. <laughs> I was about to say a warning. There's something that you, it's like the divine is warning you right now. It's not to scare you. It's just to let you know, look, I'm, I'm giving you a way out here is what I'm here. I'm giving you leverage. I'm giving you a way out here. It's up to you. Use your words wisely. Some of you guys have a powerful, powerful mouth. Um, even I've had to learn this. I'm very sharp with my mouth. Very sharp. Very sharp. I don't regret it not one bit. Here's why. Because there's lessons you need to learn by the power of your words. Power of the tongue, right? That's also mentioned in the Bible. It can do harm or they can do good. It's trial and error. You got, trial and error, you got to learn, right? Sometimes your words can be so powerful and cutting. It can be cutting to the core. Because they're showing me this broken glass. They can create storms. They can create confusion and chaos. It's the same way spells are used. You can create good things or you can create bad things. They're saying beware of your thoughts, your words. 
what you focus on, it can create this disaster for you or it could create something magnificent. It could clear out energy and bring you in positivity. But you have to, you guys, what's going to take off for you is that you guys are healing. You're realizing that you have power over your own healing, but you're also realizing the power behind your words, behind the tongue and your thoughts. That sometimes the shit that you go through, it's from your own doing, your own overthinking, your own. If you speak negative over your life, you're going to get negative things. If you're constantly anxious, you're going to manifest more anxiety, more things to worry about. If you're constantly angry, you're going to find more things to be angry about and you're going to experience angry people. If you're always in fear, anxious, worried, you're going to start attracting the things you... The thing I feared the most has come upon me. What Bible verse is that? <laughs> Look at that. The very... What is it? The very thing I feared the most. Oh, we're going to get somewhere with this. They want me to share this with you, though. This is important. What it, where is that said in the Bible, Holy Spirit? Job, for the thing I feared has overtaken me. For what I feared has come upon me. Y you manifested this. You guys have to be aware. You guys have a lot of manifestation power. It's quite creepy. I'm going to be honest with you. It's quite creepy. It's like, it's storm. It's it's that Oya energy. It's, it's like you brought this upon yourself. You didn't realize how the, the magnitude of the power you have, like how Genesis, they're, showing, they're saying how God created. Hold on, the creation. Hold on, hold on. They just said something about the creation, but hold on. What I feared has come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, but only turmoil because you manifested that shit. So be aware of what you're manifesting. Be aware of your power. That's what, it's just a warning. It's just a warning. You guys want to read Job, um, the book of Job. They say you guys want to read the book of Job. You guys need to read the book of Job. That is highly important. There's more to this. And look, they have an area that's actually called the curse of the sea. Or curse the sea. What? Curse. What? Hold on. What's Job 3 eight? What is it about? I don't know what that means. But anyways, you guys need to read this. This is about manifestation. Yeah, you guys need to be aware of what you're manifesting, what you're speaking. Okay. Um, hold on, you guys. God said, let there be light. God spoke the world into existence, Genesis. You see how that could go, right? You see how you could, the very thing you, you, you fear could come to life, but you could also speak the world into existence because you're made in God's image. So it's like you can speak things into existence. That's what they're saying. You see, it's dual. It's this either way. What is it that you're going to manifest? Are you going to focus on fear of the unknown and stay anxious? Or are you going to move forward in faith? Because fear is not of God. And fear is false evidence appearing real. Ancestors. Didn't I talk about ancestors? Remembrance. Why is this making me think of the when the when the tomb, like when Jesus resurrected the resurrection? Mm. Woo, y'all, y'all, this is getting deep. Life, speak life into your in, into your life. Speak life, speak life. Think life, envision life. Here, show me the onk. What's happening here? What's taking off? 
We're going to get more cards. Don't worry, you guys. I just want to see something real quick. Intensification. Something's inten intensifying your power. Prosperity. Woo, you guys got prosperity showing up. They're telling me to take it. Spirit. Connection with spirit. We know that. High priestess. High priest. Responsibility coming through. Yeah, that's that power that's coming through. Fertility. This is giving me power to create. Power to create. What's that? The imagination. Air. Speaking. Mind. Air. Swords. What you're thinking. What you're saying. What you imagine. Take responsibility for it. High priestess. High priest. Storm energy. You can create this. This is a this is higher knowledge. This is like manifestation. Like you're realizing you have a connection to spirit. Prosperity. You're going to be getting, giving. Giving. Are you giving prosperity? Gaining and giving? Something about sharing? You may have enough to give to others. Do as do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's what they just said. Some of you guys, this is a check. They're checking. Y'all, this, this, you know what this feel like? This feels like when a parent pulls you aside at the at the mall or the store to check you in public. Like, I need you to calm down now. Or we going home. That kind of energy. This is, it's like God is sitting you down and having a one-on-one -on -one with you or wanting to. Your angels, God, the divine, the universe. I'm saying God. Because I'm getting God. God, your angels and your ancestors want to sit you down and have a, a talk with you about the power you have behind your words, your thoughts, your visions, what you envision, what you daydream about, what you who and what you surround yourself with. You're not going to get anything different if you're staying in the same environment with negative people, negative energies, toxicity. You're not going to have, you're not, you're in the wrong grounds. Those grounds aren't fertile. If you're trying to plant a seed, you're going to go to fertile grounds. You can't have a healthy rose with all these, I'm hearing dead roses. They're showing me, um... Was it Stranger Things where something was happening with the crops that were just dying off or rotted? There's something with that. It's like you cannot sow a healthy seed into something that's rotted. You cannot be around negative people, negative environments, toxicity, and expect to grow and, and, and stay positive. It's going to affect you. Cause and effect. Yeah, it, you are who you spend time with. And you are what you think you are and what you say you are, right? Guidance. You're receiving guidance. Okay. They're telling me you guys need a totally different deck. Calm is not a weakness. Understand your body. Understand you. So what's taking off for this, pal? What do you want to tell them, Holy Spirit? Set your intentions. What did I say? I wish I could just slap the camera. Set your intentions. Intention. What does Solange say? Do nothing without intention. Do nothing without intention, right? Set your intentions. And here's why. You guys get all anxious and in your head, right? You don't realize that that's intentional too. Like you don't even know it. You keep, I'm worried about this shit. I'm worried about this. You're manifesting it. This is where you have to surrender. This is where you have to say, you know what? God, I, I take my hands off of this. Because worrying isn't going to get me anywhere. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. If I can't handle this, if there's nothing I can do about it in this situation, if I feel confused and I don't know how to handle this myself, I have to put this in your hands. I have to turn this over to you and pray that and have faith that you, my angels, my ancestors, God, Holy Spirit, whomever you believe in, that you're going to either guide me to the right people, the right information that will help me, that you're going to intervene on my behalf. I'm here, lightning could strike. Yep, I love that term. Anything could happen, right? You're going to intervene in my behalf. Sometimes when I snap, it's them letting me know I'm correct. It's like, it's it's something spiritual for me. It's it's like a, a, a signal for me. Whistling, snaps. Okay, that's a whole other story. But anyways, it's like they're coming through and they're saying, this, 
This is, they're saying mother God, mother earth, God, the divine universe. This is the power of, of, of the elements. This is power behind intention. You create your own storms. I don't, they just keep going back to that. They're saying you need to set intentions. You really need to be intentional about your existence. That's what they're saying. Your existence, you need to be intentional. Why are you here? And if you don't know why you're here, then why would you want to be here? What would you want to accomplish while you are here living your life as who knows who? What is your soul trying to get across to this world? We're here to uplift the planet. Not to destroy it. And not to destroy ourselves in the process. Your beliefs are right for you. Believe in yourself. Your beliefs are right for you. Don't let people get in the way of this. Don't make people don't let people doubt you. Take responsibility for your actions. What did I say? You brought this upon yourself, right? So they're saying, hey, take it's like the, the mother pulling the child aside. Give without expectations, giving you shall receive. Thoughts create your reality. What did I say? Boom, boom. What is this one? What is this jumper? Follow the golden rule. Golden law, golden rule, right? I mentioned to another pal, Mott's, the golden rule is a Mott. That law, commandments, like it rules. Karma, there's, there's, you don't have to believe in every religious rule book or whatever, but there are certain rules that you should keep. It doesn't matter what you believe in. There are certain things that you know, you do not steal, you do not kill, you do not destroy. 